Greetings, YouTube. I got an epic battle here against Rene Moraid, or however you pronounce his name. So yeah, I pretty much just recorded this battle because it's just so epic. You'll see why in a second. So now, I let off with Volcarona, he let off with, um, what was it, Ferrothorn? Yeah. He switched out to Heatran, predicting some Fire-type attack, and... I switched out into Star Raptor as I quiver danced, trying to get a close combat in. And but then he, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just go to the. Um, let's just skip right ahead to where we are now. So basically, tip on top versus Jellicent. I try to go for close combat. Doesn't work because Jellicent is immune to fighting type attacks. So I switch out into my Wrecking Ball. He tries to go for Toxic. Doesn't work because Ferrothorn's a Steel type. I decide to go for the Power Whip on Jellicent, but he switches out into Heatran. Yeah, see, it's plays like this that make the battle epic. It's just a whole lot of good plays on both sides. I switch out into Starmie, he goes for Lava Plume, doesn't quite work out. He switches out into Jellicent, predicting a water type attack, I go for Recover. Or I guess he was predicting Rapid Spin. Because of, uh, yeah, the stealth rocks. He goes for Toxic. Star Raptor gets poisoned. So that's like two Pokemon on my team that are poisoned. Latias and Star Raptor. He switches out into Skarmory. I go for the Brave Bird. Does not do that much. Does quite a bit, considering that Skarmory's, Skarmory is a physical wall and um, is resistant to the type. I go for Roost to get some health back. He uses Spikes. So now I've got little nail things all over my side of the field. I switch into Starmie. I'm guessing it's probably just to rapid spin some of those spikes away. And the stealth rocks too. I switch out of there and go into Ferrothorn predicting Jellicent. And he does switch out into Jellicent. Which is pretty nice. He goes for Shadow Ball. Not exactly sure what he was doing there. So I go for the Power Whip and take him out. So then he switches out into Heatran. I go back out into Hitmontop. Starmie would have probably been a bit too obvious. He goes for Roar. Starmie gets dragged in. And I'm like, oh, okay. I can just Rapid Spin all this shit away. He goes for Protect. I try to go for Rapid Spin. Doesn't quite work. Because Protect cock blocks all attacks, including Rapid Spin. He switches out into Ferrothorn. I Rapid Spin again. That gets rid of the spikes and rocks. So now the field is clear. Which is awesome. Next, I switch out into Volcarona to try and take out Ferrothorn because Starmie can't do much with it. So I get Leech Seeded, which sucks big donkey balls. He switches out into Heatran, predicting a Fire-type attack. I go for Quiver Dance instead. And I get my health drained away from Leech Seed. I switch out of there, go into Star Raptor again. He goes for Roar and drags out Volcarona. So I try to go for Hitmontop. He goes for Protect. It fails. So, ha <laughs> fail. He goes for Toxic. I go for Close Combat. I'm not sure what he was trying to do with Toxic. Um, but, whatever the case, we've got another Poison Pokemon. That makes like three Pokemon that are Poison now. I switch out into Volcarona. He goes for Spikes. Now, here's where I make a rather dumb move. I go for Quiver Dance, trying to get a stat boost up, thinking he won't do anything. Or thinking he might switch out, but guess what? He goes for Brave Bird. So, Volcarona goes bye-bye. I switch out into Starmie, take that Spikes damage. I use Surf. That knocks Skarmory down quite a bit. He goes for Whirlwind and switch, and I get switched into Star Raptor. 
I take no damage from spikes because Star Raptor is a flying type. I go for the close combat. And Skarmory is out of there. I'm not sure what I was thinking, but um, it seemed to work out pretty well. So now in comes Latias. I decide to Brave Bird the shit out of this thing. Take down most of its health. And I die to recoil and life warp damage. He goes for the Reflect. So now his defense is up. I switch into Starmie. And I go for the Recover. He goes for T-Wave, which sucks big donkey balls. Because Starmory needs its... Because Starmory. Uh, Starmie needs its speed in order to be able to do shit. I rapid spin the spikes away. He goes for Dragon Pulse. That takes out Starmie. So I decide to send out Ferrothorn, my elite offensive Ferrothorn. He goes for Thunder Wave. I go for Gyro Ball, I think. No, Shadow Claw. And Shadow Claw takes care of Latias. Next, he switches out into Tentacruel. Not much I can do to that thing. I switch out into Latias. He goes for Rapid Spin. I don't know what he was thinking with Rapid Spin. I'm guessing he thought I was going to lay down entry hazards or something, but no. He doesn't know me. You know, he doesn't know that I run offensive Ferrothorn all the time. I use Roar to bring out Ferrothorn. I'm not sure what I was thinking there, but um, I decided to switch out into Hitmontop. He uses Leech Seed. Alright, so I think I'm going to go for Fake Out, predicting him to switch out into Tentacruel, and he does. So, does quite a bit to him. Leech Seed takes a little bit, takes some life off of Hitmontop. I switch out of there and go into Ferrothorn. He goes for Surf, does not do that much. And I decide to go for the Bulldoze. Trying to take care of Tentacruel. He goes for Hidden Power. I don't know what Hidden Power type that is. Because it doesn't really seem to be doing that much. He should probably change his Hidden Power type. He switches out into Ferrothorn. I go for the Bulldoze, or try to, but I get paralyzed. He goes for Gyro Ball. I get next to nothing done to me. While Iron Barbs hit hurts him quite a bit. I go for Bulldoze. Speed gets lowered. So it's basically just me going after Bulldoze again and again and again. Yeah, the only reason why you're using Bulldoze on Ferrothorn is because Ferrothorn doesn't get Earthquake. If it got Earthquake, I would use that instead. And I think every Choice Band Ferrothorn user would. But no, Ferrothorn's offensive move pool is kind of shit, even though its offensive stats are great. The only real um, moves worth using are um, Gyro Ball and Power Whip. And he pretty much forfeits, so that's pretty much the end of the game. So good job, Renamoraid. I don't know why you didn't stick around, because that was actually quite a good game. See you all next time, guys.